Welcome to Bill's Bridge Corner, Tuesday, April 1st, 2014. April Fools. Class 160, is there a slant? We're going to look at two hands today, and on one of them, a convention that we've seen before, on another one, a convention we haven't even covered before, which we'll talk about as a possible solution to the hand in question. Let's look at two hands one at a time. Here we go. Hand six. Both sides are vulnerable. The dealer is south and you are south. This is your hand. Questions. What is your starting points using Bergen count? And based on that, what is your bid? Again, here's the hand and the questions and the answers. What are your starting points? You have 14 high card points, but you add one for the fifth spade. The total is 15. And surprise, number two, how do you open? You open one no trump. You only have 14 high card points, but it's all right. The five card spade suit adds enough, enough points for you to bid one no trump. Many people would open one spade with this hand. But one no trump is a better bid, in my hum humble opinion. Continuing, this is your hand. The opponents are going to pass throughout this auction. You bid one no trump. Your partner bids two clubs, and it's your rebid. Two simple questions you should be able to answer this from ba Bridge Basics 101. Question three: What is partner's bid? What does it mean? And question four, what is your second bid? Again, here's the bidding so far. The answer to the question, what does partner's bid mean? It is statement. It's asking you to bid a four or five card major. If you have both majors, you bid two hearts. You can also bid a five card major if you happen to have one. What is your bid? Well, you happen to have a five card major, but four is sufficient. Your bid is two spades. It shows four or five spades. The bidding continues. Here's the bidding so far. And your partner now bids three hearts. Now, this is a convention we covered some time back. I don't know if you remember it or not. You may want to bid it differently when you're done. That's fine. That's what these discussions are for. Questions. What does partner's bid of three hearts mean? See class 105 or yesterday's class. We covered it yesterday also. And based on that, what is your bid? What is your third bid? Here's the hand again. Partner bids three hearts. Answer. What is partner's bid of three hearts? It is an ambiguous splinter bid. It shows four card spade support with shortness in an unspecified suit and it is alertable. Don't confuse this with Smolin. One no trump, two clubs, two diamonds, three hearts or three spades. Question six, what is your bid? Normally what you do is you make the cheapest bid, which is a relay, three spades. It is alertable and it asks partner to show his singleton or void. We bid three spades and now partner bids four diamonds. Questions. Number seven. What does partner's bid of four diamonds mean? And based upon that, what is your bid? Question number eight. Here is the bid. Partner bids four diamonds. What is the answer? What is four diamonds? Four diamonds is alertable and it shows shortness in diamonds. Question eight. What is your bid? Well, 
you didn't want to be short in a diamond, you wanted to be short in clubs. There's duplication. Your proper bid is four spades. There is no slam on this hand. Sorry. If partner had bid four clubs, you would have gone on. But as it is, even five is too high. Here is partner's hand. And as you see, you're going to lose two clubs and the ace of diamonds. You can't even make five, so it's good that you passed. I hope that you got that. Hand seven. Both sides are vulnerable. Dealer is north. You are south. This is your hand. Your partner opens the bidding with one club, and it's your bid. With both opponents passing throughout as it was in hand six. Partner opens a club, and we have two questions, the usual. What are your starting points? And what is your bid? Now, you could also say, what are your support points, but you don't have club support, so it's kind of a moot point. And the answers. The bidding goes one club. You're up. Question. Your starting points, you have 14. High card points, no adjust, but you have six diamonds. You can add two points. You have a total of 16. Starting points. That doesn't mean it works with your partner's hand, but that is starting points. It's the question. What is your bid? Well, you only have one bid, really. It's one diamond. The bidding continues. Here is the hand and the bidding so far. Your partner jumps to two spades. Questions. What does partner have based on his bid of two spades? And based upon that, what is your second bid? Here are the answers. Partner's bid is two spades. That's a jump shift. Partner must have a strong hand. Should have 19 or more starting points with at least four spades, at least five clubs, and forcing to game. You could argue that this is a reverse, and I guess it is. With clubs and spades, you usually bid spades first and then clubs, unless you're really weak. His third bid might show something different, but since he jumped, he has a strong hand and at least four spades and five clubs. Based on that, what is your bid? Well, you haven't found much of a fit yet. He's got the black suits, you've got the red suits. There must be a slam somewhere. we got so many points, but... Let's take it slow. We'll start with three diamonds. There is a slam somewhere, we hope. The bidding continues. And after this sequence, partner now bids three no trump. Questions. What does partner have now? Have you changed your opinion at all? And question six. What is your third bid? You're going to have some difference of opinion here, and we're going to come up with a convention you haven't heard of before. But anyway, here we are. We're at 3 no Trump, and you don't really like any fit. I don't seem to have a fit anywhere, but we have a lot of points. What do we do? What does partner show? Well, I haven't changed the opinion too much. He has four spades and five clubs, probably. I bid my diamonds twice, so I probably have six based on the bidding. And he didn't like them, so he probably has a singleton diamond. I don't know where we're going to play, but I want to go to slam somewhere. What is my bid? Well, this is a conventional bid. It's five no trump. It is forcing, and it says pick a slam. We're trying to find a suit. This is one of Marty Bergen's favorite conventions. We could be playing in diamond. It's possible partner might have a stiff king, for example. Or he might have queen doubleton. Who knows? More likely it's no trump, but it could even be in spades with the right kind of hand. The point is that this is a forcing bid. Some other people will play five no trump as what they call a grand slam force. And if you had a fit in a trump suit, which we don't here, it would say go to seven if you have two of the top three honors or thereabouts with some variations. That's called the Grand Slam Force. I'm going to assume based on the fact we haven't got a suit yet that 5-0 Trump says 
pick a slam, partner. I want to be in slam somewhere. We're not done with this hand yet. Let's continue. Here we are, five no trump, and my partner now bids six spades. Question, what does partner show with six spades? Well, don't know. What is your bid? Let's think about it. Here's the bidding again. It's up to us to decide what to do. Partner bid six spades. What does he show? He must have four good spades because if I had four spades, I'd have raised him and I didn't. So he better have good spades. And he didn't like diamonds. I gave him an opportunity to raise diamonds, so he doesn't have diamonds. What's my bid? Amazingly enough, I'm going to pass. See the next screen and we'll see how that actually works out. Well, here's the entire hand. Take a look at six spades. Despite w the fact that we only have seven spades between us, we have the ace all the way down to the nine spot. We have a beautiful cross rough. In fact, we have a good chance of making seven if hearts behave. We should make six unless hearts are really bad and we get a quick rough. We need to cash some hearts and then cross rough the hand out. Six spades is an excellent contract. Well, that does hand six and seven. Tomorrow, class 161 hands eight and nine. More choices to make. See you tomorrow.